Hello everyone. Hope you're all doing good. I'm Merlin Rodericks and today we are going to deal the chapter Zlethe the Goat by Isaac Bashevis Singer. First, let us take a look at the author's biography. Here you have the picture of Isaac Bashevis Singer. He is a Polish-born Jewish-American novelist and short story writer in Yiddish. He was born in Warsaw and named Isaac Herz Singer. He took a form of his mother's name Betseba, later as his pen name Bashevis. His father was a Hasidic rabbi and during his adolescence, he was also trained for some time to follow the footsteps of his father, but decided against it. Expressing his preference to become a writer like his elder brother Israel Joshua. He married Runia Pontish during the turbulent thirties, but he migrated to New York City and got separated from his wife and son. In 1940, he married a German Jewish refugee Alma Warserman. In 1925, he made his debut as a fiction writer with a short story in old age. In 1930s, he wrote short stories either as Bashevis or Warshawski. Though his first novel is Satan in Gore in 1935, it was the family Muscat published in 1950 that made him famous. Besides his numerous short stories, his major works include novels such as the Slave in 1962, The Manor in 1967, The Estate in 1969, Enemies, a Love Story in 1972. Singer's work often portray traditional Jewish life in Poland and the US and the loneliness of old age. The setting for much of his works was his native Poland. But living in Nazi-dominated Europe, Singer has experienced the horrors of Holocaust. In novels such as The Family Muscat, The Slave, The Manor and The Estate, Singer focused on the various aspects of Jewish life in Europe which no longer exist. Enemies, a love story and other writings complement the previous works since they present the protagonists who are survivors of the Holocaust seeking to create new lives for themselves. Zlete the Goat, the title work of Singer's 1966 publication, Zlete the Goat and the Other Short Stories, is a touching story about the bond between human beings and animals. A short story, Zlete the Goat, is set during this Hanukkah festival season. Now let's take a look at what is this Hanukkah festival. This is a Jewish religious festival usually observed in the month of December. Hanukkah is an eight-day-long celebration of the rededication of the temple in Jerusalem in 965 BC following the victory of Jewish fighters over a huge Syrian army. So this is a festival which marks the victory of the Jewish fighters. The temple which had been taken over by Antiochus, ruler of Syrians, had been violated and damaged. While the Jews were purifying and repairing the temple, a miracle occurred. A tiny bit of oil for the holy lamp, barely enough for one day, lasted eight days. So this is the reason they are celebrating the Hanukkah festival. Our story, Zlete the Goat, is set during this Hanukkah festival season. But the characters in our story are facing some problem. What is the problem and how do they solve this is the plot of this story. So let's start reading the story and find out how did they solve the problem and what was their problem. Zlete the Goat, the short story. So let's start reading. I'll be reading a few paragraphs and I'll give you the meanings and then I'll explain. Just follow when I read. 
At Hanukkah time, the road from the village to the town is usually covered with snow. But this year, the winter had been a mild one. Hanukkah had almost come, yet little snow had fallen. The sun shone most of the time. The peasants complained that because of the dry weather, there would be a poor harvest of winter grain. New grass sprouted and the peasants sent their cattle out to pasture. For Reuben the furrer, it was a bad year. And after long hesitation, he decided to sell Zlete the goat. She was old and gave little milk. Flavel, the town butcher, had offered eight gulden for her. Such a sum would buy Hanukkah candles, potatoes and oils for pancakes, gifts for the children and other holiday necessaries for the house. Ruin told his oldest boy Aaron to take the goat to town. The uh, few words that we have to look for the meaning. Here we have the word farer. Farer means a someone who makes and repairs fur garments. Fur is the, uh, what is it? Fur is the skin of the, means the hair of the animal and they use this hair to make the garments. So he's a farer who tends or who makes this or repairs the garments. So here uh, another word is golden. Golden means coins formerly used in several European countries. Now. The first paragraph mainly deals and says about the, the season. It is December and it, it used to be snow, but this year it is a very dry season, it seems, and, they, and the peasants feel that they will have a poor harvest. And in the next paragraph, you could see that we are introduced to the characters. Reuven, the furrer, he's a father, and his job is, uh, he's a furrer. So fire means a person who repairs the fur garments. For him, that was a bad year. Of course, we can understand because the snow was very less and uh, maybe people are not using the fur garments right now and they, they're not in requirement. So this uh, business is very bad. So even though with hesitation, hesitation, the word means uh, doubt and with a lot of reluctance, he doesn't want to do it. Even though he doesn't want to sell his goat, he decides to sell it because it is Hanukkah season. The problem here is the financial constraint and therefore he decides to sell the, his beloved goat Zlete. Okay, She was very old right now and gave very little milk. And moreover, Flavel, the town butcher, decided to give him about 8 gulden for the goat. 8 gulden is a very huge amount for them, they say, because they could buy uh, potatoes, oils, gifts and other things necessary for the house. Okay, so even though with great hesitation, the family decides to sell the goat and he is instructing his eldest son Aaron to take the goat to the butcher. So let's continue reading. Aaron understood what taking the goat to Flavel meant, but he had to obey his father. Lay, his mother, wiped the tears from her eyes when she heard the news. Aaron's younger sisters, Anna and Miriam, cried loudly. Aaron put on his quilted jacket and a cap with earmuffs, bound a rope around Zilate's neck and took along two slices of bread with cheese to eat on the road. Aaron was supposed to deliver the goat by evening, spend the night at the butcher's, and return the next day with the money. So let's take a look at the meanings of certain word. Gwilted. Here, gwilted jacket. Gwilted means a warm garment. And earmuffs means a pair of soft fabric covering the ears. Okay. So we can understand Aaron understood what it is meant by taking the goat to Flavel. He understood that if the goat is taken to Flavel, he will, uh, the goat will be killed. Okay, But he has to obey his father's command. Now, let's see the reaction of the family. His mother, Lay, is not happy. Uh, she, she is actually sad and she starts crying. And we can see the sisters, Aaron's sisters, Anna and Miriam also, they are also crying loudly. But Aaron decides to go. He is putting on his quilted jacket, the warm clothes and the earmuffs. And he is tying the rope around the Zlata. 
and they are going to start their journey. So he's also uh, taking the food with him, two slices of bread and a cheese. Okay. Now the plan is like this. Their plan of journey is like this. Aaron, they are going to deliver the goat by the evening. They will start early morning. By the evening, he will deliver the goat. He will sleep there the night at the butcher's house. And the next day, he will return with the money. Okay. So let, let, let's continue reading. Next paragraph. While the family said goodbye to the goat and Aaron placed the rope around her neck, Zlete stood as patiently and good-naturedly as ever. She licked Ruben's hand. She shook her small white beard. Zlete trusted human beings. She knew that they always fed her and never did her any harm. When Aaron brought her out on the road to town, she seemed somewhat astonished. She had never been led in that direction before. She looked back at him questioningly as if to say, Where are you taking me? But after a while she seemed to come to the conclusion that a goat shouldn't ask questions. Still, the road was different. They passed new fields, pastures and huts with thatch roofs. Here and there a dog barked and came running after them. But Aaron chased it away with his stick. The sun was shining when Aaron left the village. Suddenly the weather changed. A large black cloud with a bluish center appeared in the east and spread itself rapidly over the sky. So let's analyze till here. In this paragraph, the important words to remember or to give meaning. Here we have the word astonished. Astonished means uh, with a lot of surprise, with wonder. Okay, so let's uh, look at the meaning. Here, the family is saying goodbye and they are going to start their journey or Aaron starts a journey. Zlata seems to be very patient, okay, very uh, without any fear, very patiently and very good naturedly. She was, uh, you know, con following uh, Aaron. And we could see that she is even licking the hands of Reuben, her master, showing that she loves the master. They are going to start their journey and as they proceed with their journey, she is really astonished. Zlata is astonished. She is wondering why the human is taking me in these places, through these uh, roads, because she was never led in those roads. But trusting them, she follows without hesitation. So, so as they are passing uh, the pastures and fields and huts, slowly weather seems to change. Okay, so let's continue reading from here. A cold wind blew in with it. The crows flew low, croaking. At first, it looked as if it would rain, but instead, it began to hail as in summer. It was early in the day, but it became dark as dusk. After a while, the hail turned to snow. In his twelve years, Aaron had seen all kinds of weather, but he had never experienced a snow like this one. Okay, so from till here we will analyze. We could see that the weather is changing for worse. He cannot, uh, he has not seen in his 12 years of life such a kind of weather. The crow is flying low and suddenly the, the bright sky turned to dark one, like, like in the dust, like in the evening. So this threatened him or this uh, change in weather is actually bothering Aaron too much. Okay, let me show you the picture of what is hail. Okay. The sky was very clear and bright when they started the journey, but now it has turned dark and the hail is falling down. Slowly this will increase and it will start covering the road. Okay children, we will stop here for today. We started with Slete the goat. We understood uh, what is the problem of the family and they decided to sell the goat Slete to solve it. And he has started his journey. Okay. So we'll stop here and we will meet in the part two. Thank you.